I'm so sorry. Ederly. As he where he stands. Looks at him and spits at his, at his corpse. Uh, his wife is uh, is crying. Can't even speak anymore. Uh, she's probably seen more bloodshed. And now also uh, her lover uh, cut up. I did from that. Uh, Mutt throws his uh, longsword to the ground and picks up his halberd, which is his uh, weapon of choice. Uh, and the one you know he is uh, he's best trained with. As she looks to Marcus, walk closer. Mm. You observed that I did this within the, the rules of dueling. Yes, sir. You will testament this to the commander. Yes. Yeah, it looks threatening. Good. I'll just go there now. Okay. Sweet. Please help me. You, <laughs> you're gonna meet Commander Havelin. Yeah. And now, uh... You're not testifying. Yeah, what happens if I say no? Well, no, you testify. You say, yes, they dueled to the death. Which is illegal. Right, Malachi? True. Very. Yeah, extremely. But what, what's, the, what's the point of doing it in the confines of the dueling rules? Well, he did it like the yeah. olden days. He said, like, men's of old. He was old, very old-fashioned, apparently. Yeah, what, okay, what does he mean, I mean, I assume since it's in, like, the rule book that every good citizen should follow, I would know what the actual rules of dueling are, especially since I'm a knight, what are they? Uh, you set up rules, you both follow them, no dirty tricks, basically. And no killing? No. Did, did uh, he actually old follow rules. rules? Yes, he did. Except oh. for the killing. Yeah. Uh, so, technically, what he did was still illegal. Very. Awesome. And he's going to report that he just did this. Well, yeah, I mean, how do you go up to the commander and say, Yeah, Ellie was cheating on my wife, so I killed him. Because he's very, very honorable. You don't understand this because you're evil. Well, like, <sighs> you're right. It is true. I don't play many characters that are, like, super honorable, so. So, I mean, I, I can't. So if I testify that he followed the rules, but then I say, but also he killed Ederly. They, they say, you, you follow the rules of dueling, however they duel to the death. Okay, that's what I was... That's what and I was as wondering. a result, he would be considered a forsaken soul. Yeah, And you're yeah. not lying, that's the most beautiful part of yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, he, he told me not to lie to the commander, so I'll do exactly that. Yeah, exactly. Shall I prepare the steak? <laughs> I think oh, our, I, I think, think I think sheep did that. Yeah, I think our expert steak uh, person did that earlier today. Mm. Yes, I'm a certified steak person. <laughs> Have a degree in everything. Ask me anything. Uh, what happens next is a uh, warfare. Quickly, uh, soldiers enter the house. Apparently, it's been heard outside. Uh, by some passersbys, that there was some loud talking and some weapon clashing. Uh, this made someone look in the window and very quickly get the guard. You escorted immediately. However, a guard is sent a horse to the to Valentine to, uh, to report your coming so that an immediate uh, tribunal can be assembled. And... Uh, you are indeed uh, brought in front of it. The rest of you might see him sort of as, uh, as Marcus is brought along on the uh, movement towards uh, Valentine, but you can't really you can't really get close. I can't see anything. No, not yet. Okay. They also uh, drag Mutt's wife with, uh, even though even in the blood-stained uh, clothes, she's dragged with him. She's, uh, you know, she was there. Oh. 
Sakuramas. Oh, it's Haven. I'm so honored. You, you remember honored. this room, don't you, Sakuramas? What? You remember this room? I do, yes. It's a little busier now. It is. It's uh, more like how Mops 1 is still on the floor. Yes, she is. She doesn't have the strength to stand at the moment. Just, uh... Tiefling steps off of his, uh... chair and stands, looking at, uh... Mutt, who walks forward and kneels. Mutt basically, uh, explains what happened. Refers to Marcus as the one who told him, made him aware. And uh, explains that he came home, found his wife, and uh, literally breaking his honor, and that he uh, that he could not allow such a slight upon him, and that he only did what he he thought he had to, and that he does not regret it, and that he would do it again if his honor bid him do it. Well, done again. Seems uh, to consider everything, looking uh, at Marcus and looking at the wife. And uh, Evelyn seems deeply troubled by this, although he always seems troubled. Uh, he listens to the story and asks uh, Mutt what, uh, what sentence Mutt himself would, uh, would give him. Mutt says that he should be beheaded. As it befits someone who has done what he has done, Havelin simply agrees. Uh, Donegan agrees and tells uh, Mott that it is not too late to be forgiven in the eyes of Mithras if he is if he is truly remorseful and uh, accepts his punishment. And uh, Barhold says nothing. Then the time is that uh, steps back. Guards come. Wait, so just to clarify, uh, they were men, even. They were discussing what would be done to Ederly. No, to Mott. Okay. Ederly's dead. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if he had admitted that though. He was like, "Yes, we shall behead Ederly for his crime." I didn't under. Okay, no. we got it now. So he said that he would behead himself, basically. Yes. Okay. Dueling to the death, death by beheading. Plus what the portrait says. He will, he will, he will take the, uh, the punishment. And he will do it the honorable way. Oh, so I don't even have to testify. Yes, you do. Oh, uh, well, any more than <laughs> I was already going to. What happened? Um, Marcus will explain exactly what happened. Uh, he will even go so far as to try to remember some of what Mott said and kind of relay whatever he remembers. Marcus is again asked for his name. The name um, of his daughter. Oh, How shit. How do you live? Use cash. Um, just yeah. if, if they want to see... You could always use cash. See the daughter. Well, I don't even cash. remember what my last name was. <laughs> Gottlieb but. is your... Is your yeah, but second Gottlieb. time you said but. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> 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 uh, well, your daughter is, uh, you know, Rosabel. There yeah. we go. Yeah, I'm not good with names. Um, my name is Joshua Gottlieb, and my daughter is Rosabel Gottlieb. And where should I say we live? Just say that you recently <laughs> moved into town. Uh, I don't even. Yeah, I'm not good at this creative stuff. Ish. I recently um, moved to the outskirts of town by the walls. Well, I could say that I recently moved into town, and we're living in the inn. Right, until we find somewhere to live? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, then it and... doesn't explain why you have a pig. Oh, right. That was the only thing you uh, you took with you <laughs> when you left. Yeah. yeah, whatever. And we, uh, we live in the inn. We've recently moved here, and we're still looking for a place to buy for our own. And with all that, you know, uh, work, working for the garrison, helping out the good citizens of Telengard would be a way to earn your keep. Yeah. And you regret yeah. the the sad turn of events this all has taken. Of course. Lord Halen, walk closer. Sort of move out a palm towards uh, Marcus and 
just close his eyes for a moment. The nod. Step back and particularly say that uh, Marcus might be called upon again and that he should uh, keep himself ready for uh, perhaps additional explanation of what happened. More is needed. Yes. As this is a grave crime. This is a grave crime. The death of uh, of two. He says that. The death of two of uh, the watch officers. It'll take a long time to re replace them. So... Yes. Mod is uh, still let out. Anything else you wish to do before being brought back to the inn? Not especially. This has uh, has made most of the town into sort of a almost an uproar, if you will. It's uh, certainly severely disrupted normal life. Uh, the news of what's going been going on. So, uh, what what did you others try to to do today? The first thing I want to say, though, one thank you, Jonas, for telling me to get under today's alignment. To thank God I cast on the for alignment. Yep. Yeah, that was really, really lucky. <laughs> no, it's not no luck to it. It was the fact that planned. I made sure any time someone's entering the castle who I feel is going to be under who has a chance of being met with a paladin. Yeah. I throw an undertake for alignment in their face. So I think the rest of us was just at the inn. Yeah. Weren't we? Yeah. yeah, Cash would have returned to the inn after. Yeah, we were trying to steal signatures of the bartender in some way. Yeah, by looking and at the And possibly ledger wait for Barnabas. Yep. Yeah, led ledgers, receipts, anything we can do to get more stuff. Sure. Do a diplomacy roll each to see if you can sort of talk him into. Uh, I can't find my token. Or bluff. Either. Oh, okay. Diplomacy, you say? Diplomacy or bluff. I feel upset. That was a four. Zacharias, go better. <laughs> wow. Working together. Where did my plus ten go? <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. Uh, you seem to be able to get uh, some writing. Would it be enough? Just to consider like uh, descriptions of how to find that particularly good stream for fishing, for example. <laughs> Writes down the the notes of how to get there. So it's enough to consider we have. Enough handwriting to copy and his signature, for example. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Then, uh, let's see here. Is, um, actually, where is the to do for fun in the city except this tavern? Uh, they don't really seem to, to say much. Uh, it's named that perhaps in a few days uh, the Bard of Barrington will be here. And perhaps mm. maybe he will, he will show something in town. Mm. Well, maybe we can convince the barkeep that, you know, if if he is going to be, uh, um, if the, the, the famous bard is going to be showing something in town, uh, then he should, of course, make himself, you know, pre presentable for such an occasion. And um, maybe go out to do some shopping for clothes and stuff like that and leave the bar unattended for a couple of hours in the evening, perhaps. Oops, that, that's not the right token. There we are. Well, the thing is, there will be customers here, anyways. Well, not if he goes, you know, after closing or early in the morning, something like that. Yeah, I guess. You wanted him to go make himself presentable? Yeah, b basically, we want him out of. We, we want to come up with a reason. Uh, for him to be out of the tavern for like half a day, like half 
maybe not half a day, but but for for enough time for us to, when we set the plan in motion, um, lure his brother into the basement and kill him down there. So how about a different idea? We lure him out, but not for a couple of hours, just for a couple of minutes, and ambush him and, him and hit him unconscious. And then we nurse him back to health in the tavern, which gives us a reason why he wasn't around while we were there and stuff. Well, he would be around, but unconscious after all. Uh, sure. We some we need to knock him out without him, you know, knowing that we knocked him out. Of course. Yeah, we would be like bandits or thieves. Or Maybe something. when he goes goes out back, you know, to empty something like a bucket of water or something. I mean, you can't have we that much HP. Hey, I'm sure. I'm sure a sneak attack would knock him out. We just knock him unconscious. And then we save him. Yeah, and then we can be like, oh, you you suddenly fell unconscious. Uh, you know, luckily, Lady Cash is uh, somewhat proficient with the medical skills, and she has nurtured your back to health over a couple of days. And <laughs> Lady Cash, you say? That would at least give us enough time. I mean, I could, I can even like from if if I get into a, um, if I get into a room on top of the tavern, I could even like sleep sleep spell him from like you know up there from inside the room, and he would probably just fall asleep out there. Comatose. Yeah. For a couple of minutes and then we can knock him out during that time. Well, yeah, could uh, uh, un non lethal coup de grace with sneak attack, he's gonna be unconscious for a while. Yeah. Uh but first we need to forge the letter to his uh, to his brother. Then let let us get let us find a room for us to get to work with. Yep. Everyone who has a linguistic skill please feel free to help. If anyone does have the linguistics, go up on me and like her eyes. I don't know. So just the linguistics skill in general? Yeah. That mean, well, that I mean, I did use it to get dra draconic, so does it mean Nish, I have... Then Nash, you can help us. As long as you put okay. at least one point into it, you can use it. Yeah. So you can at least try and help us with it. I can try. Okay, so let's forge the letters and then... You'll be just giving an assist, so a plus two. Yep. For this. If I get a 10. Mm -hmm. Yes. Basically, the letter tells that uh, Barhold the barkeep wants to meet his brother to discuss something privately. Um, family business. And something very important. Yeah, it something important. It cannot wait. It cannot wait. It must be done as soon as possible. He knows that his brother has a lot of things to do. And he is, of course, very important to keep defenses. But this will only take... A half hour at most, but they need to discuss this. As a document of a similar type, we can't really use that for this. Um, autographs or signature of a similar kind, we can add that bonus on top. Yep. So that's a plus four bonus. Yep. There. Uh, we ignore penalty for handwriting. We ignore penalty for auto for um for like making up a signature. That's a good thing, so he's not going to get any modifiers there. Um, so Sheep failed his linguistics. Kyron is not a smart man. I, I could have given you an extra plus one, but it's still not quite, quite enough. Nope. One short. Let's see how Zacharias doing with... So we've got... You have a plus... Five guidance five. And, and the gu guidance and the plus and the plus four from my thing. Okay. Actually, technically, Chiron's thing would pass because he would also get the plus four. All right. So we have a plus six, plus five. You. It was plus five. It's now plus seven for you. Okay. And then I'm going to do mine, which is an auto success, pretty much. Yep. So. Uh, let's go. Just go ahead and add the bonuses, just in case, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that would be. That's your choice. You can either add them to mine or. So it's a plus nine. Uh yes. Yeah. 
you would have a plus 9 on top of your original thing. Okay, so if I take 10, that's 19, plus 9, that's uh, 28. If you feel 28 is sufficient? <laughs> Family. <clears throat> What do you guys think? Would 28 make it? I don't think he has very good linguistics. It's he probably funny. doesn't have very good linguistics, and he does get a plus... He gets a disguise bonus, which would be a plus... He does get a decent pl bonus to it, but he'd still need to roll like a 19 or something to see for it. Alright, we go with the take 10 on this. So it creates a DC 28? Uh, yeah, DC 28, it should be. Okay, so our latest... So forged letters. Oh, twen yeah, 28. Alright. Now, the, the question is, should we space this out, or should we strike right now? I'd say right now. Okay. Just throw the entire town in turmoil. The problem is I don't want it too much turmoil yet. Because if we if we really cause a complete uproar in town, I like what if they lock down the keep? Or what if they what if they cancel the play? So I'm like, no we have no play here now. This is too serious. Well, well, if they lock down the keep, that would even be good for us, I think, since we always have an entrance through the cellar. Yeah, but, you know, we, we're relying on the... Uh, we're relying on the play to take out two of the characters in there. So I do we want to wait for the play and then take out our hold? I really doubt that the play will continue after what happened today. I don't know, they, it, it still might. We like they, they, they might do it to try and recreate stability. Yeah, they might do it to try to, uh, you know, get some better morale into the men. That's what I probably would do. But if too many officers start disappearing even before the play, then it might be too serious. And then it's like, no, no strangers into the keep anymore. Security. We can always lure him out. That's the thing, right? And if the keep is in town, or if the play is in town, then it's easy to lure the barkeep out too. If the dwarf shows up, we can still get him into a fight because that's again that's his own doing. He's a stupid dwarf. He is drunk. He killed someone. That's not someone just disappearing. You know. Uh, yes. How many days until the play? Yes. Okay. We've got a lot of schemes to pull off. Alright, let us see. Uh, so today's the day after the day. The day to the day and the after the day. Which means we're there, which means four days. Yeah, four days until the play. Four days? Yeah. Access will arrive in two days. Oh, they, they arrive in two days and then they have two days set up, right. Yeah. As we wait and prepare. I, I, I don't know, I have a gut feeling that that is the right thing to do in this case, I don't know. Probably is, yeah. Well, I mean, we are quite quite on schedule, I would think, think. 
like three people down already, that's really good. Yeah. So even if we get only one during the festival, I would say getting Barhol to come out is easy enough. So that's two, maybe three people that are more or less possible to get rid of. Because mm -hmm. the wizard is what we need to get rid of. And the one we need to get rid of is either the cleric or Matt Martin. Yeah. We have we have a way to take out the cleric we and lure him into the basement with the whole sob story. So then we've got Mad Martin and um, the wizard use the scrolls on, for example. Yeah. And then we have it all taken care of as far as commanders go. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Everything is falling in place. Yes. So we wait a couple of days and should the dwarf show up we can do something with that. Exactly. We wait for the dwarf. He, if he doesn't show up we act when the player arrives. I'd like to know every single day, the moment my meditation is com my 15 minute meditation is complete, the first thing I do is slam an undetectable eye onto Marcus. Ah! Resetting the counter. Yes. Play him! <laughs> and if we want to be super safe, some of us should at least do our servant stuff, so nobody notices it that we only showed up for one day. Sure, we, we, can, we can do that actually, that's a pretty good idea to keep up appearances as it were. Yeah, I guess Zeros would do that every now and again. Once again, with the case of I'll be the only one without undetectable alignment. Well, we, we slap undetectable not... alignment on the one going in, of course. We don't need to go in all of us at once anymore. Okay, so it'll be two. It'll be two at a two people at a time will have undetectable alignment. Yeah, at least two. It'll be Marcus and someone else. Just a quick question, is Cash could be the one playing the role of the daughter if that's required? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. But if it's required. Will it be well, like a public execution of this, or is it something internal? Huh? Of Mott? Yeah. Well if if you wait a day more or I mean what what's your yeah, we as we said, we are waiting. Uh, basically, we're keeping up appearances. We're waiting until the play arrives. And uh, if Barnabas shows up, uh, I said he, I think he, he said he was drinking Sundays. Um, if he shows up on a Sunday, we will engage in that. Uh, all right. Well, it's it's also Sunday when the actors arrive. Oh, okay. But they um, needed a few days to set up, right? Yeah. How long? How long do we have uh, until we have to complete our quest? Four weeks. Three yeah. weeks. We've still got a while to complete the, the mission itself. We have at the moment plenty of time. Okay, cool. We've not yet used half the time. There we go. Oh, cool! And we've done quite a lot. Yeah, we're quite effective so far. Do you like the madness trains, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I approve of the latest. I approve of the latest one. Well, yeah, I, I altered it because uh, I needed someone to, so they could see that I didn't who get was it. whom. I mean, you can, yeah, you can tell who's who now. You can tell who's got claws, well, you, you can have, tell the, the fire you breather. Can, you have to look at the, the la latest one of them. I improved it because... Yeah, yeah, but, but I didn't get it. I, it's, I, you can what? still get it. Oh, no. I think so. Oh, did it? Oh, never mind. It's, <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah, I know she just drawed your dog on there as well. Yeah, my dog is there. <laughs> dark Bark the Third, Esquire. Horus. <laughs> Horus Dark Bark the Third. It's like, I I don't know if sh sheep's claws are red, but I thought, well, why not? He's uh, a red dragon, not. close enough. They're yeah, red with blood. <laughs> and, you know, we've got, we've just got Marcus there, just like help me with my holy symbol. So, shall <laughs> we get back to killing people? So through the next two days, you spend sort of in the uh, town. You do, uh, you do notice, you don't know or get to hear that uh, Mott is actually uh, being sent sent away. To where? Underscar. Underscar. And he will Aww. wait out until he uh, he will be punished. 
Um, Let's save him. Heading. <laughs> so, Captain Malt. Oh, I'm so yes, sorry for him. understand. I understand why he did what he did. I kind of feel sorry for him.